Hello everybody, welcome to uh, the CCL Season 50 Round 1 match between Fanjo and his Orcs and Eludius and his Necromantic. Uh, nobody in the booth at the moment, uh, which is, you know, tragedy but never mind. Uh, Fanjo is down TV, he's got a babe and a wizard, so 200 TV down with these Orcs, which are pretty decent Orcs. He's got 4 guard, I think. Yep, four guard, about four mighty blow as well. Three mighty blow, four guard. So you know, a bit light. You know, they're a bit light. They're not. They're not the best. Uh... Oh, he's actually. So he's gone stand firms over mighty blows, which I don't like. But you know, it's decent, isn't it? A couple of mighty blow tackles, edge four. Like it's. A, it's a pretty lean, a lean team. Um, but you know, obviously, you'd you'd rather be. Pretty much every team would just rather be 2,000 TV, right, and get more skills, more skills stacked up. But especially orcs, I think, are one where they really benefit from having a lot more stuff um, because then they can like guard lock the core teams, and and you know, just mass mighty blow hitting armor eight is, can be a big equalizer in those situations. Uh, the necro team is also a little bit light. Um, the flesh golems are great, block guard and lodge guard. But the whites are glorious. One's a rookie no, with the pole. One's only got guard. One of the wolves is a rookie. And um, I will defend. His ball carrier defend. is the same is the same as Davo's ball carrier from Last Chalice with with uh, guard, lodge step, sure hands, and then he does have an amazing wolf. So he's got a claw palm, the lodge tackle wolf, and the claw palm, you know, might just kill half of the team by himself and win the game. So. It's still really good, even if you've only got one. And you can use the fleshies to get the hits so it, without frenzy trapping himself. So there you go. Uh, thank you very much, Noobster. One, 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 one. Thank you very much. Welcome to Team Fantastic. Aw, yeah. And there we go. He does use the fleshy to not frenzy trap himself. Oh, but he only gets pushes, puts in the reroll. Which is fine, right, with four. I think that's a good reroll. Gets the Kaz. In comes the Apple for a fail. Wow. I wonder if that was a good Apple. Um, miss next. So it was only 50 50 to work. It wasn't a perm. But it's a decent player, isn't it? I wonder, I wonder if that was a good Apple on turn two. Yeah, it was a great reroll, wasn't it? Yeah, I think it was good. I think with three, it's it's a lot more of like a greedy reroll. I think with four, it's a completely fine reroll. <laughs> I didn't even know you were in my Discord, Nolly. Oh dear. I can't find you, I can't find you to make you a commentator. There's about, f it's capped at like four or five, Phineas North. It's just, it's just so happened that like the Necro have kind of played early and then they were, they were playing late, right, weren't they? Like they got the final. Um, they got to the final last time. So that there'd been a lot of Necro and then obviously they just randomly covered, but like, you know, covered two of the three Amazons already and stuff. So it just it just so happens that sometimes it uh, it happens. Alright, Oli Oli Oli. Okay, maybe I can find you. Here we go. Oli Bolly Nolly. Commentary team. You can you can join in if you want. I don't have a picture, but I'm going to uh Oh you Dutch aren't you? Hello. 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 Ooh, pretty quiet. Um, how are you, sir? I'm great. I'm Dutch as well. Yes. Is this better? Yeah, I'll, I'm just going to turn you up on the, uh, on the user volume. Right. Hopefully, this is okay. Can you S share your screen? I hear that's what all the commentators say. Yep. Uh, I am sharing my screen. Oh, I just don't know. <laughs> Can you explain to me why the stand firm? Oh, 
You sound like you are underwater. <laughs> Am I any less Am I equally better? Oh my god, okay, this is, yeah, this is a disaster currently. <laughs> No, it doesn't make a removal. Blub blub. There we go, that's better. Okay. Like, this works for my own streams. <laughs> Why doesn't it work here? <laughs> I don't know. That's he has fun. managed to isolate his most important black orc. Yes. Yeah, he has, isn't he? He's getting fouled. He's even getting him fouled. Um. I'll get you on the screen in a second here. <laughs> oh, I'm curious what my avatar will be. <laughs> yep, it's uh, not a, not a rat, surprisingly. <laughs> it's, it's funny, isn't it, that Chantra is the smallest animal you can you can think of, and I'm like the biggest animal you can think of. There we go. Head. Look, this, uh, this is the only this is the only Dutch person I know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I have played football in my life. Well, there you go. <laughs> so, there's some comparison. I, I missed the first. I missed the first turn because I was getting a drink. But I'm like, when you're the orcs here, you really don't want to have those black orcs that far away from your other orcs. No, it's tough, isn't it? Because they're lacking guard. Like they, they are, a, they are a low TV team, and they haven't got a lot of guard, which is probably why Apple that guard, which is missed next. Uh, even though it's like a yeah. bit of a shit player to Apple, and like early Apple, I guess he's just yeah, he should have really, he should have made everything really compact, stay away from the sidelines. And, but it's hard, though, isn't it? Because like, you still want to stop them scoring somehow, and it's like you you obviously do, you want to be so focused on keeping your players alive, but then you can't. <laughs> There's another one gone yeah. because it's just really hard, isn't it? If you try and stop them scoring, then you're gonna get people hit by claw palm and it's not unlikely to be removed and then if you do, if you stay like just desperately trying to protect your players then you're probably going to get scored on so it's it's a tough it's a tough yeah it's a fast but it's not like it's not like the necro have a lot of guard right so you should be able to protect your players for a couple of turns and then you've got a wizard right so just protect your players for five or six turns and then you try something yeah. is how i would probably approach it i don't mm. i've played some orcs yeah. In my day, but... Not as good at PC with Ox, though, of course. <laughs> no, no, PC, of course, a higher percentage with everything. <laughs> Famous Dark Elf coach. <laughs> PC. <laughs> oh, Wood Elves, isn't it? It's Wood Elves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really I, Wood I, Elves. I only get to talk to PC if I get, my se if I get to 72% with Wood Elves, <laughs> which means that I have to do some games because I'm 73 right now. <laughs> um, but then he will finally respect me. <laughs> <laughs> Is it with PC's fish? <laughs> That's good. Make the Merlock nice to calibrate your mark. Oh my. Thanks, Demi. <laughs> you probably lose because these guys are company. <laughs> Demi coming in with her zingers. <laughs> Fuck off, Demi. <laughs> <laughs> this is tough though, he's like, you know, okay, he did, he did get this guy isolated, but now he's got his team spread all over, but it means the Necro spread all over, and, you know, not really, okay, he's just going to do the old, the classic Blitz Dodger way, the Necro classic. Yeah, when the teams lined up, I thought there might be a pretty interesting game here, but the Orcs have, uh, the Orcs do seem in a bit of trouble for, for, for for this drive, and I don't, I, I can't see the cast box, but I imagine it's not going to get much better. Yeah, two cast. Well, he's used his, he's shot his bolt. The edge four is there. Nothing really else is. So I'm not sure this was a great decision. With only eight players, and you know, one of them stunned, and four of them out of the way. So he's only got three guys that can react to this. 
But I guess it is two, there's, there's only two turns left for Ludius, so I guess that's the thing. Oh my god, and he's rolled two double skulls in the same turn. Well, it's a terrible idea to use your wisdom and double skull <laughs> twice in the same turn. <laughs> yeah. We can all agree. Very poor play. This is kind of nice for Ludius right now. He gets to pick up on uh, on the wolf and score on the wolf instead. Yeah, yeah, perfect, isn't Penjo, it? He's on three as well, so yeah, he gets to level Penjo up. Penjo increasing uh, Chalice Equity for, uh, for Ludius. Using yeah. his bolt. Carry on! <laughs> <laughs> Soft Carry play on. making him score on the on the correct player. Yeah. Well obviously that's why he held it on the on the on the shithead uh, white obviously, wasn't it? So that if he gets bolted it's uh, not a problem. Mm -hmm. A greedy banger. Oh, he's greedy banger HTK. He wants the Spurs coming to it for balance. <laughs> oh my god, there's a, there's another Kaz. Flip me. I'd I'd put I'd put a uh, I'd put a good Spurs player uh, on on the screen, but there aren't any. <laughs> Banter. <laughs> I always thought Spurs was pretty cool, and then they, and then there was a certain semi-final in the Champions League, and now I think less of them. <laughs> there you go. Huge foul. No. Nothing. It's not GG, but I mean it's close to, isn't it? It's three, three uh, cars. It's like you say about Necro often, right? Like they are just so good when they get ahead, and they are ahead now. And yeah. they're like, yeah, it's sick, isn't it? Because now, now they can put like the fleshes in to stop frenzy traps, and, and like obviously they've got the guard and the players to stop frenzy traps anyway. So that just means yeah. they're going to get the tee off of the corner all the time. Yeah, and there's no there's no protection possible anymore at this point for the for the orcs. Whereas first you could maybe set up frenzy traps. There's like three guard on the pitch right now. It's just not enough. Yeah, and then your offense, of course, you're like, well, how do you defend against walls when you're down players? It's it's fucking horrendous, isn't it? And then movement eight, <laughs> you've got blodge, <laughs> and you've got to somehow, like, stop them sacking your balls. Up the spurs. Oh, there you go, that's removed all doubt that that greedy bang was HTK. <laughs> <laughs> nobody would pre nobody would pretend to be a Spurs fan. <laughs> <laughs> right? For someone who's not in the in the cultural uh, sphere of the English, why do we all hate Spurs? Uh, just because it's funny. Just because uh, Dimmy Dimmy's an Arsenal fan and uh, PC's an Arsenal fan, and Arsenal do not like Arsenal fans don't like Spurs fans and vice versa. But like, you know, not not really, obviously. But you know, like that's the that's the kind of thing. That's where the banter comes from. And then I'm just I'm just bandwagoning because <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> I'm just bandwagoning because it's funny. Because in uh, in like you know in in Among Us, in Among Us, it was uh, you know Dimmy was like we should vote off HTK on principle because he's a Spurs fan. <laughs> And I really enjoyed that, so I, I, I threw my hat in with Dimmy and PC on the, <laughs> on the, on that. So there you go. It's HDK. I mean, cargo bay. Yeah. yeah. Spurs do lend themselves a little bit to being, to being targeted like that, I guess. Yeah, they're just so Spursy. Yeah, they're, like that that phrase sounds like there's more reasons to hate Spurs than <laughs> just a dimmy opinion. Uh, there's no better there's no better reason to, to do anything because of dimmy's opinion. So that, is the, that is the ultimate. The ultimate reason to do anything is because Dimmy says so. <laughs> if you met a Spurs oh, man, you'd understand. <laughs> 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 There we go. Look, if we ever get a Frenchman on, there you go. We can we can have we can have the the best the best Spurs player of all time. But um, until then, until then, we won't. Who the, who the fuck is that? 
Who the fuck is that? Am I? You I don't... am 23. You don't know Jinala? I don't know who? Jinala! Mm. He, was a, no. he was a great player. He used to play for, he used to play for Newcastle as well. Yeah, how old are you? I'm, I'm 23. Oh, he so might, I, he might yeah. have retired before you were born. <laughs> 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 he might have retired before you were born, yeah. I hear Tom Brady lost, didn't make the playoffs or whatever when I was five or something. No, no, less than that. It, it, uh, 2002 it was. So, ah, I, so I... Hmm. So I probably had object permanence, but I couldn't read. There you go. So. There you go. Unbelievable. <laughs> you, couldn't, you couldn't read the last time Brady lost three in a row. <laughs> it's fucking crazy, isn't it? It is kind of crazy. Like, I don't know. It's it's crazy. There's like, yeah, there's, there's, there's like actual fully grown humans that were like... <laughs> Can't remember things that I feel like they were yesterday. <laughs> like, you know, Vice City coming out and stuff and like Yeah, like people people like like you know, I, I still remember I still remember Guardiola as a player and stuff, like it's mad. Yeah. Exactly. If you know just mention three random things and I will not know any of them and then <laughs> Yeah. And then this feeling is like super justified. <laughs> I mean, I feel like things that are like five years ago or very long time ago, so I can only imagine that once you're 40? Mm. <laughs> yeah, 40. That's how old I am. <laughs> 29? Once you're 29, everything must really see, seem very... seem like a very long time ago. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> you joined Everton, which is roughly the same. <laughs> That's brilliant, Hotter. <laughs> Fucking hell. That's great. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true, Elliot. Elliot is young, but. <laughs> isn't young, but hasn't heard of anything or seen anything. That's true. That's so true. The fucking the uh, what's he called? Uh, Rick's team of references Elliot gets, and it was all blank names. <laughs> that's brilliant. Uh, <laughs> to say that's never done. <laughs> Fair enough. It was really funny. Well, here we go. This is a lot of trouble, isn't it? Because he's got no fucking players. He's got like he's got eight players. Oh my god, he only had, it was an eleven man team. Oh, he's got nine. Okay, so yeah. and the. The Necro are now out guarding the Orcs. Yeah. And almost out strengthening the Orcs. They I mean, are they... one one good blitz away from them. They are out strengthening <laughs> the having, Orcs. They're definitely having out strengthening more the Orcs. Be... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, more strength But yeah, they're... but they've, they're definitely out strengthening them because they've got two more players, aren't they? So it's. They've got more strength, more movement, more armor because they've got claw to hit them. <laughs> so, like. <laughs> they've got more everything. It's, it's absolutely horrific for them. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there goes the doing stuff there. Ah. Doesn't pile. That that seems insane. <laughs> yeah, but he's he's got like he's got two players over here. Like, what the hell do you do now with the orcs, isn't it? Yeah. At this point, you probably pile on because it's one of the two mighty blow that are left, or one of the only mighty blow that's left. It's just pile on to protect your own players. Yeah, I guess, I guess, because yeah, you're game, so far ahead. Because the game ahead, is fine, yeah. <laughs> like, the yeah. game is not going to go wrong anymore, so. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, I guess, seeing as it's over, unless <laughs> unless you go to the Elliot School of Blood Bowl, um, this is over. So, yeah, I guess, yeah, you're piling up, you might go, potentially. Yeah, yeah, that's a good shout. Or it's you just it's, because it's piling on, yeah. Yeah, like, to be fair, he's so fast that it doesn't even limit him that much if you do pile on. Was like one, two, three, four, five. Yep, he would have hit him. He would have hit him without a GFI. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and he could have even still served him if it if he had gone more to the side. Like mm. basically, no cost. Yeah, wolves are pretty 
Wolves are pretty good players. <laughs> Ooh! The Dublay Skulls. Evening up the dice block. As well. nope. I thought he might have brought this wolf to here, like just in case now, you know, like this blitz didn't work out. Yeah. But I mean, that's really nitpicking, like, I guess, because it's. Oh, God, that's it's good. Really... <laughs> that's it. Uh... I wonder if you hand off to the, uh, the other wolf here, eh? because like, you would like to. Uh... What's the rookie white SPP? Uh, zero. <laughs> mm. Oh man, double touchdown on the white. Yeah, Where exactly. He? Yeah. God, he's miles away. Yeah, you can score turn 13, or yeah, turn 12 even. And then you have four more turns. Yeah. He's getting hit by mighty blow is the problem. He's all right. Oh, glorious. Oh, he's pushed him away. Oh my God. Yeah. Okay. You're definitely going to try and get on this white. Yeah. Yeah. Correct. It's kind of hard to get, to get free now though. And he could have, he could have just like dodged, dodged if he had to, but he could have, uh, could have come around here and hit him. Like you could have done this block and then just, you know, filled the t uh, filled the T and uh, blitz the wrestler and chained him out. I guess. Like I would have done. I would have definitely wanted to get it on him. <clears throat> yeah, I think there's no. Yeah, I think this is basically nothing. This this score, right? You were already winning the game. Yeah. And you've now got. Your wolf at 101 SPP. Which... Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's like a really bad score, isn't it? In terms of the development. Yeah, and also in terms of like, like it's even more negative, right? Because you're also now giving away LOS. It's like if you were gonna score on him, like the score on him is useless, and also scoring quickly is useless because you could have spent this, those turns while all the orcs were down. Scoring on a good player instead of on this useless player. Yeah. But hey, it's a it's quite some luxury to be in. Mm. <laughs> to score on the incorrect player to go two 0 up in the first round of Chalice could be worse. Yes. Yeah. It's it's yeah. It's an okay situation. Like he's so he's so far ahead, wasn't he? That it's like yeah. He probably have, uh, probably yeah. Should. There's there's also something to be said for just not. For picking a player to score and just spending the rest of the game fouling and doing nothing, making yeah. sure you don't you don't take any damage. Yep. But then also there's the argument for you know he's he scored he's definitely scored he's two 0 up and it's definitely over and he's won hasn't he? So I guess there is that like you know it, it, it technically wasn't over before right like maybe something crazy could have happened with like trying handoffs and failing them so at least he got the touchdown for sure and he's definitely won. So, you know, it's... Yeah. I would have agreed it there if I was if I wasn't one up, I guess. So. <laughs> yes, I, I so would I. I mean, I would have one hundred percent believed that. Yeah, but I can, I, you know, I can see that. I can see the argument for. I think even Elliot would not have scored on that wolf. <laughs> even Elliot, boy, howdy. Yeah, well, I mean, yeah, no, I mean, I know I wouldn't. So yeah, I guess, I guess Elliot wouldn't have either. Also, it's jealous. You might as well win the game. So yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There is an argument. There is an argument for just taking it, taking the touchdown for sure. But like he was so dominant, he's still so dominant as well. Yeah, it's funny. Like he is, <laughs> he is just three, three. He can score twice more now. Yeah. Did, did he get the riot? He can just, he can just level. He could level the white anyways now if he wanted to. He but he seems he determined to not do it. Yeah. Yeah, and like, you know, this wolf would have been fine getting them as well, right? This wolf could have got to 12. Yeah, that's 15. A... <laughs> you could imagine if he got to 15, imagine if he just handed off to this wolf and then yeah. and then he gets two more and I mean, he could have just gone straight up, up yeah. to 15 would have been unreal. Do a blitz, get a cast somewhere. Yeah. That would be pretty epic in a <laughs> Chalice game getting 13 SPP. 
Yeah, <laughs> yeah, it'd be not. It'd be all right. Um, the question is, would space have scum at all? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, there was an argument for not scoring at all, right? And just, just winning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, exactly. Not scoring at all, just fouling all the orcs out, not taking any damage. But it was, it was, it was, uh, it was, this was Fanjo's reception, so yeah, you'd at least, you'd definitely score, you'd definitely score at the end. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> French coach, some more unlucky. I mean, they're definitely not. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Oh. Well, the wolf gets punched. Yeah. I feel like Lou just got a little bit distracted here. Like, he should have probably prioritized good SVP and then not getting good players killed. And he did a GFI with a ghoul, which is maybe not the best idea if it's your ball carrier with guard. Yes. And then also gets his wolf punched, yeah. and his ghoul punched next turn. Like this is not, like, it probably doesn't matter for the result, right? But this is like, some, if you're if you're two 0 up, you should be thinking about next round. Yeah, especially the ghoul. Yeah, I would have benched the ghoul. Like he he did he did the right thing benching yeah. the wolf. He, I think mean, you should have benched the ghoul as well. Yeah, just just for the rock, right? Just just for the rock alone. Just yeah. leave him off the pitch. Yeah, because it's it's disgust it's disgusting that they, they don't have an apple and like and you know apple or region like they're they're so fragile and he's so good, isn't he? Like he's such a good player and yeah. he's so it's fragile. Like, yeah, and it's like you, your opponent might have already lost the game, but that doesn't mean that you can't still lose the game. <laughs> yes. Right. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that happens so many times, doesn't it? That like both players feel like they've lost. Both players yeah. feel like they've been diced. So, yeah, you should have definitely. Oh, you're uh... broken. Pretty close to that. Uh... Oh, fantastic because of mustaches. Um, yeah. God, I'm I'm falling asleep here. <laughs> <laughs> and this is not this is not an exciting match to keep me awake. To be fair, like it's it is over, isn't it? It is. It's been over for a while. It's just, just four uh, more turns. You're almost there. Yeah. He's gone for the crystal hunter cage here. <laughs> <laughs> the old. Is it a parallel cage if the if 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 the players are three squares apart and it's a crystal hunter cage if it misses one side? Yeah, if it's just an instant two <laughs> dice on the ball, it's a chunter cage. <laughs> I wonder what happened with that. I wonder if that was like on purpose or not. It's so weird. There is something to be said, right, for leaving the ball on against in in relatively killy matchups, but I don't think leaving the ball when it's on that gutter was a particularly good idea. No, it was terrible. Like it, at least make it so that you know they they've got to like do like a three two two or something to hit it, you know. So then you've got a chance of lose at least them losing the reroll and they go for it and stuff. But don't just like let them just blast it for free. It's <laughs> like, gonna be amazing, guys. That can't be a good idea. It just can't be a good idea. It just can't. Like no matter what happens, you know. And I, I know you had like the. The, the dirty player and, and the claw pal the claw mighty like both around to to like you know counter hit but it's like you can just lose the gutter like instantly and yeah and losing that you can lose the ball as well and it can be horrendous like it was a both, tackle player <laughs> yeah a especially the gutter right especially losing the gutter is like so so bad yeah it, it cannot have been a good decision some uh, a nice scatter catch by the dirty player in the meantime yeah yeah similar similar to chunter you see that's it you just you, it was a it was a perfect chunter cage you don't you don't protect the ball but then catch the catch. <laughs> yes exactly <laughs> i guess it is much like chunter basing where your armor never gets broken the chunter cage is just a bad cage where you still end up with the ball yeah But I mean that's a great KO for him because now his wolf can't die, so that's that's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> getting his wolf. Oh. Ball like, that's just... <laughs> yeah, but like that's that's just so bad, isn't it? You've just leveled your wolf and then 
it gets fouled with three assists. <laughs> a dirty player on turn 14. That's like that yeah. could have made him very sad. Yes, yeah, it's true. He, he could have he could have definitely played this a lot tighter after being too low. To, to but again, it might actually make him one. score on the player that needs to score. No, he's no. gonna pass it. That's a shame. <laughs> it's a fifth white. <laughs> well, there you go. He gets it anyways. Yep. I mean, he won us is important. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he's in MVP range. As Rick loves to say, MVP ready. Hello, K Fog. Timmy. Is Dimmy G that coach? No, Dimmy, Dimmy, uh, Dimmy didn't play last season, I don't think, at all. I don't remember him playing. He was too busy foxholing. Uh, did you check the last Saturday, the last Saturday of the season? No. That's usually when he's on. Another foul on the wolf. Oh. That wolf has been armor broken three times in those last five turns. Right. So he gets 3 0, and more importantly, he saves his wolf from getting fouled every turn. <laughs> <laughs> the ghoul stays out. Very good. Yep. Dream result. <laughs> oh no, it's actually pretty bad because now the wolf is on the pitch. Mm. Wolf's got regen though, hasn't it? So. I would rather have my ball carrier ghoul get rocked than my, uh, than my claw pulling wolf. Yes. Like, Eludius can still lose the game <laughs> from here. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Hasn't lost the game. Hopefully next time Fanjo brings a one, one Blitzer Bretonia team to Chalice instead of a half baked orc team. Yeah, yeah, it was it was never gonna like it was never gonna really win Chalice this team was it? It was it was very yeah. undercooked, but um the 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 like it's pretty regular that like orc teams do this, isn't it? Because the race is always pretty tight and then you know it's yeah. orcs tend to do better at lower T V or versus lower T V opponents. So they tend to come in with like pretty nice records and not very light TV, which is no, I won't a pretty shit way to do well in Chalice with Orcs. I'm victorious. Yeah, <laughs> I will and it's also, it's the, I will defend. the biggest shame is also that like you are like one you guard on a black spent. orc and one guard. Like you're two guard away from the team being pretty pretty serviceable. And even in this matchup, I think there was like there was more of a chance to be in this than he was from like turn three. Yeah, <laughs> it's like. It could have gone a lot less less bad. Yep. Oh my God, Eludius did a did a did a did a frenzy into GFI Blitz, which could have killed his wolf without a reroll, which was a bit mad. And uh, and he got really lucky getting the MVP on the wolf, on the white. Sorry that he'd scored on, so he's, he gets a level there. He is right. Not score twice on the rookie ra rookie white, but score on this one instead. Yeah, so it worked out, worked out great. And uh, commiserations, Fanjo. Congratulations, Eludius. Thank you, Hames, for staying fantastic for four months. A one whole be of pregnancy. Absolutely glorious. You're all Spanx. <laughs> and uh, thank you very much, Nelissius, for uh, coming in and doing the commentary. Absolutely glorious. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.